Hi there, Paul Fukowski, and uh, it's the day after um, uh, July 4th, and uh, I just wanted to um, bring you up to date on some things that are going on around Desert Ministries. First of all, I want to thank our uh, uh, volunteers that helped with the uh, July 4th picnic. We had a great time, and uh, a lot of folks came out, had food, barbecue, we had pork from Stoysage, uh, Sausage House, which was just phenomenal, and um, as always. and. Uh, lots of games and fun things for the kids to do and some great music. I really want to thank, uh, of course, uh, St. Joe Tower, uh, Tracy Lichty, the Executive Director of St. Joe, uh, for really uh, just doing a great, great thing for the community here and the neighborhood. And um, I'm just glad to be a part of that. And uh, so for Tracy and I to work together on that project is, is great. She's got a great staff, great, great people that are working that really care about uh, their residents and they care about uh, St. Joe's presence in the neighborhood. I also want to thank the uh, Blue Society. And part of the Blue Society is uh, Blues Ed, and these are uh, students uh, that are studying music. Uh, they are musicians and uh, they audition. Their bands are formed. They have musician mentors watching over these bands. Anyway, we had uh, two of them here for the picnic. They were great. Uh, Crimson Dawn and Mojo Bag. And uh, you can see these guys on YouTube. And uh, they're really, I mean, it was just great, great music. Also, uh, Deja Blue is here. That's Diane Thomas and Pam uh, Pratt. And they came and sang uh, the great standards that uh, we all know. And uh, beautiful, beautiful places. And, uh, and then, as I had mentioned, we had pork from uh, Stoysage Sausage House. And um, again, I want to thank all of the Desert Ministry volunteers that showed up. And I really love the tweeting thing working. Uh, so I just tweeted for help and uh, people showed up to help and uh, so it really turned out to be a great, great afternoon. So we do this uh, every July 4th. So uh, Lord willing, you can count on that again next year. We'll have a wonderful uh, time out here in the front lawn at St. Joe's Tower. Well, coming up, I want to uh, invite you, if you haven't already registered for the upcoming workshop on uh, July 15th, uh, you need to do that. It's filling up quick. Uh, in fact, uh, it's just uh, amazing how quickly the chairs are there. But anyway, uh, it's July 15th, and it'll be from 9 to 3 at the uh, UNO campus, and there will be parking for you. There will be parking passes for the registrants, so you don't have to worry about a place to park. Uh, but it will be in the CPACS building, uh, the College of Public Administration and Community Service, CPACS, and room 132. Uh, the fee is $15 for folks, uh, seniors, and then for uh, us regular guys, uh, 25 bucks. And then if you want CEUs, then there's an additional $50 fee uh, for six uh, CEUs. And uh, Amy Hansen and I will be uh, presenting that day. And uh, we've been working on this uh, workshop now for some time. And I'll tell you, I love it. And uh, I've said to Amy uh, on several occasions, I don't know if anybody else is going to like this workshop. But yeah, I like it, and I'm really, I just, it's rich. That's the only word I keep coming back to to describe this workshop, rich. And uh, so I hope that you'll come out. Amy's a phenomenal presenter, and uh, so I think that you're going to find it to be very worthwhile and very um, energizing as well, very inspirational is a word that comes to my mind. Uh, for lunch, from 11.30 to 1.00, in addition to eating uh, and having a wonderful meal, we're also going to have panelists come in representing the major religions to discuss how uh, elders are viewed and what their roles are within their particular faith communities. So uh, we have uh, representatives for the uh, Jewish, the Islamic, and uh, Christian uh, religions. So they will be there to talk about the role of elders in their faith communities as well. And again, that's what makes this workshop so interesting. We see spirituality and aging. Uh, there's been a lot of workshops over the last two or three decades about spirituality, um, religion, aging, and health. This one, I've never seen one like this one. Um, this is talking about how we create platforms for their role as teachers and mentors uh, and guides for us. And so uh, I think you'll find this to be different than other workshops that you've come to. So that's July 15th, Spirituality and Aging, an Obligation to Impart. And all of our seniors, all of us have an obligation to pass on what our ancestors taught us. And we should be passing that on to the next generation. So we want to be sure to 
provide those opportunities for seniors. Well, as always, we're looking for volunteers. And, um, you know, again, in the nursing homes, there are thousands of people that rarely get visitors from anywhere. The only time somebody's touching them is when they're being poked or prodded, somebody's taking their vitals, or giving them a bath, or, or feeding them, but there's no one there just for them. And we've had residents say that to us. There are a lot of people around me, but there's no one here just for me. And so uh, what they mean by that, and just if you can imagine uh, the, the anguish of loneliness, the pain, feeling unwanted, undesirable, unlovely, uh, useless, having no purpose, no meaning in your life. But what's my reason to live? Um, the thing about this is, is that these people are a wealth of information, life experiences, wisdom, and all of that uh, languishes because there's no one there to tap into it. And so as a Desert Ministries volunteer, we train you how to do that, how to tap into that rich, rich resource. And even though someone might be experiencing uh, something like arthritis or uh, muscular uh, dystrophy or, or multiple sclerosis or uh, stroke or even uh, the early stages of Alzheimer's, that doesn't wipe out their intelligence. And so these people have a lot to offer. And I know that when you visit uh, an older adult in the nursing home, feel better about themselves. They're going to use less medications. They're going to put less burden on the staff. There's going to be less call lights because they feel loved. They feel cared about. They feel as if there's somebody out there thinking about them. And I, I've had residents even say that to me. That, you know, it's really nice to know somebody's even thinking about us. And so, again, try to get into their shoes and try to imagine what it would be like uh, to be just in a little 6 by 12 space, day in and day out, and day in and day out. Uh, you know, you would start to wish to die. And you hear residents say that, I just wish I would die. But what a shame that is. What a, what a uh, awful thing that a person would have to say after living 80, 90 years that they would finally come to a point where they would just wish that they could die. Well, again, our Desert uh, Ministry volunteers offer hope purpose, meaning, and uh, joy, life, and uh, all of those things. Um, and so, again, please register on our website. Go to our website, register, and uh, if you have questions, email me or call me. I'm happy to talk to you. Anyway, that's it. Uh, our next training session is coming up July 22nd, so if you want to get in on this rotation, you need to get your application in right away. Uh, we do background checks, we do references as well so we have to you know because we work with a vulnerable population we have to do those kinds of things and so we have to get all that in motion we have to have some face-to-face -face interviews with you and then uh, we can uh, uh, get you started into the training so the training is just in a few weeks july 22nd 23rd so if you're interested in volunteering for desert ministries apply now and we'll get you into this rotation i guess that's it um amazing july 25th uh, is the next thing coming up. We're going to be, uh, we'll have 13 uh, nursing homes out of Warner Park uh, watching the Storm Chasers uh, ball game. And so that's going to be a great afternoon. And I've asked the uh, activity directors to submit names for people who are going to throw out the first pitch. And so anyway, we're going to have a lot of fun at the ballpark. It's July 25th at 12.05. And you're certainly welcome to come. Okay, that's it for this week. And uh, have a great, great uh, week. And uh, I'll see you again soon sometime.